Good morning, family. Good morning. Thank everybody for tuning in. This is a quick, quick live. Uh, this is a quick live. I'm not going to be on here long at all. I'm going to jump on here and I'm going to jump off. Okay, I'm going to jump on and I'm going to jump off. So this is a quick live. Just sending invitations right now. Um... This is a quick, quick live, all right? So thank y'all for jumping in quickly uh, as I deal with this quick live. All right, this is going to be quick. All right, thank y'all for tuning in. Everyone for jumping in, everyone for jumping in. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm um, just sending invites right now, um, and I'll be done in a quick second. All right. Hey, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for tuning in. Good morning, everyone. You heard me once today. <laughs> Uh, Brother Nathan, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Great greetings to you. Uh, I didn't try to. I just wanted to bring out some truth. You must be uh, saw the lesson last night. <laughs> uh, yeah, about worship. Uh, we must worship him every day, not just on one particular day. But hey, listen, I want to jump in real quick, and I want to talk to you about some things here. Um, and um, what I want to talk to you about is that the practical and the spiritual work together for um your blessings or the door opener or what, however you want to call it. You know, most people don't like to use the term blessings and things of that nature because uh, it sounds a certain kind of way. But uh, open doors, whatever you want to call it, uh, there is a practical aspect um, that we don't talk about much, that we constantly talk about uh, a lot of things that are spiritual, which is good, which is fine. But there are practical things that, um, we should be doing in our lives um, and because we know that God is going to do his job, okay? We know that Yah is going to do his job. Uh, he is going to handle those spiritual aspects of things, but there are some practical things in our lives that can um, also that um, I, 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 don't, I don't like to use the term stop him or hinder him because he cannot be hindered, but there are some things in our lives that are uh, practical that causes us uh, to give, <laughs> I would say this, it causes uh, us to, to cause uh, God to give us a side eye. Like, okay, you want, you want me to do this for you in your life. You want me to bless you with a better, better paying job, but yet you don't want to go fill out an application. God gives you the side eye. Like, you're not going to do things that you're going to have to do some things in your life. OK, um, throughout the Bible, those are Bible readers uh, throughout. We see practical applications of things. Um, it wasn't so much that they was codependent upon the father. They trusted him in being with them in the decisions that they made versus looking at him to do everything as though we don't have any responsibilities at all in our lives. We have to understand practically, uh, there are practical things that we must do, that we should be doing in order to partner uh, with the Father in the things that he has going on. You can't, it's just like somebody saying, um, they're gonna go to the club, right? They're going to go to the concert. Now you have $200 to your name. You have $200 to your name, in your bank account, to your name. The concert is a $175. $175. Your light bill is due next week. You don't get paid for two more weeks. God is going to give you the side eye. 
Like, I'm not going to, he's not going to stop you from buying that ticket. He's just going to look at you and give you the side eye like, okay, what, this, here's a practical decision that you need to make. This ain't a spiritual decision. This is a practical decision. You already know the basis to your situation. You know that your light bill is due. You know that you don't have enough to go to the concert. The concert is $175. Your light bill is due. But you're going to say, I'm going to believe God. I'm going to trust him that he's going to provide. And God is giving you the side I like. So you want me to cover you in your bad decision making. Here's a practical application to things. If you apply this practically of the wisdom that I've given you and you follow your situation, then I, you, then I will move on your behalf because now I can trust you to make practical decisions. Once I can trust you to make practical decisions, it's nothing for me. I'm already going to work in your behalf spiritually. Sometimes our practical decision making or lack thereof is worse than Hasatan. A lot of the times it's not even Hasatan that's causing problems in our lives. A lot of times it's practical decision making. I've been in a place where I didn't have enough. I've been in a place of just enough. And I've got to a place where I got to more than enough. I understand that I allow I won't allow myself, listen to me, not the devil. I won't allow myself and my lack of practical decision making to cause me to go back to a season of not enough or just enough. You can stay in a season of overflow. If you make practical decisions. Because God is going to keep. He's, his, his will is for his people. To stay in overflow. That's his will. His will is for his people to stay in overflow. That's his will. But we in our lack of decision making. Saying, can you stop? Go downstairs. Can you go get some okay, go downstairs. I'll be there. It's his will for us to be in overflow constantly. Our lack of decision making and lack of practical application is what kicks us out of overflow. And guess what happens? When we get kicked out of overflow based off on based off our decisions and our decision making. And our lack of practical application, it clogs up or, or pushes us out of overflow. And then we, we come with the excuse of the devil. Listen, <laughs> I don't like to, uh, I understand Hasatan is real. I understand all of that. But I also understand biblically that the children of Israel didn't blame Hasatan for a lot of practical bad decisions that they made. Whenever there was a bad decision that was made, they would ask the father to father forgive us. They didn't blame it on Hasatan. In the Western world, we have created this atmosphere and this cop out of blaming everything on Hasatan because we made bad practical decisions. Simple decisions in saving money. You know you live in a world that requires money. We can go to all these conferences and talk about supernatural overflow and all this other stuff. The thing is, is this. 
If we're going to have conferences about blessings and finance, talk to the, keep it real with the people. Tell people to stop blowing money. Listen, don't get me wrong. Those light bill people, you see these lights on in this house? I trust the most high in everything. But I also know, he, I also know not to put, not to put myself in a situation where he give me the side eye. Like, boy, is you crazy? You, you crazy. Are you a fool? You think you're going to go out here and go buy a brand new car. All right. Just because you got it, do you need it? That's another area of practical application. Just because you got it, do you got to spend it? That, here, that's the question we need to be talking about. I'm, a, I'm not going to be on it much longer. Just because you got it, do you have to spend it? See, this is what the father wants to keep get us, get us mentally to understanding. I want, I need, I want to use, listen, I, he wants to use your dollar. All right. And I know Bruce ain't going to talk about this. They ain't going to talk about this. Most of them ain't going to talk about no finances, stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you, because I need, we, we need to help the people in every aspect. Okay. We need to, we need to help the people. The most high. Use money. He uses this ain't no Crefro dollar speech message, nothing like that. I ain't asking you to sow no seed and all this other stuff. I'm trying to help you. I ain't put no cash app up here talking about send me your seed so you can be blessed. I ain't no 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 no. Because the problem is, I can't ask you or expect you to give something that you don't even understand how it works. Most people don't even understand how money works and how the most high use money. We live in a world that requires money. It's a practical thing. Okay. Call, I tell you this. Call up the phone company. Don't pay them and tell them you believe in God that he's going to pay your bill. After you was a bad steward. And see where the most high Touch somebody in the phone coming to keep your phone on. Try it. I dare you to try it. I double dare you to try it. Go blow your money knowing that you got need food. Go blow your money. Okay. Go be, go, 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 go take and don't be a good steward and don't use practical application. And go blow your money knowing you need something to eat. Now see if the most high send manna from heaven for you. Go see, try, try. I double dare you to try it. I do, I'm trying to help somebody this morning. I'm trying to help a couple of y'all this morning to get an understanding of how the most high works in your life. If you will stay in constant overflow, if you treat money, if you if you take practical things. And apply them to your life. You will stay in constant overflow. You won't be in need. But the problem is. We put ourselves in binds. Ask God for help. He give us the side eye. Hasatan over in the corner laughing at you. You know that the most high giving you the side eye. But you rather blame Hasatan instead of saying father forgive me. I'm sorry. The easiest way to deal with the situation of your bad decision making is to blame Hasatan. But you say the devil defeated and all this other stuff. He under your feet and yet you keep blaming him for bad decision making. I want to encourage y'all this morning. I know y'all have, this, ain't no time to be talking about 2019, I'm finna get my money right in 2019, I'm finna, I'm finna change. No, starting today, you need to rethink the way you deal with every practical situation in your life. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Go. You need to rethink. 
have to rethink things. Now, ain't no 2019 and all that. No, starting today, you need to look at look at every look at what's the most important in your life. You can't go ball out with your cousin and your partners. You can't you can't you can't think like well you know what you know what man we've been we've been doing this I need I need me a get out day. I need me a get out day and I need me. see y'all get out days and and all this I I need I need a I need a day a stress reliever. I need to do all this other stuff. I've been going through this and I've been going through that. See, that those are the type of non-practical, those are the type of things that get you in a bad situation practically. All because you think you need a, 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 a free day or you need a day to go blow some money because, you know, you, you've been going through situations and all this stuff. Or if you just got a job and, and I've been going through all this stuff, I, I need me a day where I just need to get out and just go spend some money. That right there can put your behind in a bad situation. You know what? It creates a habit because you haven't gotten to the place where you're mature enough to understand money. You haven't got to the place to mature enough to understand it. You have not gotten to a mature place to understand it. And until we come to a place of understanding how things work. I don't care how many conferences, how many events. I do. Let me tell you, also, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Every event and conference that I do, I want to do them for free. Okay? I want to do them for free. As a blessing to the people because I want people to be blessed. But it still requires money. See, everybody come to the event and everybody come to this and everybody come to a place of worship and all these other things. And when they come to these places, they come and they come there, sit there, and they just like, okay, you know, they don't have to worry about all the other stuff. They just come and just, you know, partake in the word or whatever the event going on or whatever. It still take money. It takes money to have a conference. It takes money to do a free tour, traveling all around and all this kind of stuff. I'm telling you right now. If I or if no, if you don't have the money. I'm talking to promoters too, because there's other people on here who have conferences and events too. Okay? If don't put yourself in debt for Israel, I want you, I'm telling y'all right now. Don't put yourself in debt, because I ain't doing it. Don't put yourself in debt for Israel. Okay? All because you want Israel to have an experience. If Israel not, not helping with the situation, you know what? I will cancel that joint. Straight up. I will cancel it. If James one and one or any other event that I put up that I'm putting together for free for Israel, if 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 we don't meet the budget to be able to have the event, I will cancel that joint. Because I ain't going in debt for Israel, and I don't expect nobody else to go in debt for nobody else either. That mother get straight canceled. And we'll have service at our church. That's just the way it goes. Point blank period. And I'm telling y'all right now. If y'all having a cookout. And you ain't got the money. And folks want to have a cookout. And they turn around and come to me. Yeah man let's have a cookout. And you turn around and say hey man well look. I need y'all to bring something. Buy some pitching some money. If folks don't pitch in the money. Cancel the cookout. Stop this match. You know why? Because we have users and abusers in the nation. And people will ride you until you broke and in debt and they won't even come and help you. I'm telling you straight up. You better learn how, you better learn the practical things of life. Everybody want to be so deep and spiritual and all this other. No, man. First, we need to learn practical things. You don't even know how, you don't even understand earthly things yet. And how things work in the earth. Yet you want to understand these spiritual and deep stuff. No. 
We need to go back to the basics. Understand and learn practical applications of things. And it need to start with your pockets. It need to start with your pockets. You can't get no nails done, so. So. You better go get some press-ons. If you need them that just that bad, go buy you some press-ons. You can't get your hair done, so. You better go get you some head wraps. You better go buy you, if you can buy 10 of them head wraps for cheaper, then it's going to cost you to get your hair done. You better go buy some hair wraps. You can't go to the mall to get your makeup done. You better go get you some lip gloss and some lipstick and call it a day. Period. Point blank, period. You can't eat your no steaks. You better go try to find a day. You better go get some hamburger meat. Y'all gonna learn practical application. If you learn the practical things of life and how money works, then the most high can work in your life. But he gonna side eye your behind. He gonna side eye, side eye you till he come back. And you gonna wonder why everybody around you prospering because you making bad decisions. You wanna blame Hasatan. Hasatan laughing. Like, <laughs> you see, most how you see they blaming me. And the most I say, Hasatan, I see him. Don't worry about it. I'm going to stay right on my throne. I ain't sending one angel to go down there and touch nobody to help they behind. You want to stay in Lodabar? Then you keep staying in Lodabar. You stand in Lodabar because you want to stay in Lodabar. You are living in Lodabar because you want to live in Lodabar. You're behind. You want to stay in Egypt? You stand in Egypt because you want to stay in Egypt. The Most High, Hasatan ain't keeping you in Egypt. Okay? You keeping your behind in Egypt. Straight up. When them folk ask them, hey, do are we supposed to pay taxes to Caesar? All right, don't pay your taxes. He said, give me a coin. Show me where the coin at. Give me a coin. Somebody give me a coin. They gave him a coin, and he said, who face on this coin? Let me see you practical applications, okay? I know you walking with the sun, Who's, the, who's divine and, 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 and who, who is the savior, but the savior talk practical too. Okay, listen, here you go right here. You see, look on this coin right here. This coin pay your taxes. This coin pay your light bill. This coin pay your water bill. This coin put food in your house, put gas in your car. You give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar because that's the practical thing that's going on in the earth. And guess what? You give God what belongs to God. If you understand practical applications, then the Father, because you don't pay your taxes, okay, this is what this is what the law of the land is. This is a practical thing, which ain't got nothing to do with the Father, even though he can, he can control it, but he allows it. So therefore, how money works. You make sure you give Caesar what belongs to him to keep your behind out of the tax office. Because guess what? When your behind come up for tax, tax evasion, the most high going to give you the side eye and he's going to say, hey, look, go over to Joe house because Joe understand practical applications. Therefore, I'm with him. This child over here don't understand no practice. Maybe Caesar will teach them how to deal practically in the earth. That way, I'll use Caesar to chastise them so that way I can get some to them and show them how to live in overflow and how they can be blessed. That's how you learn. Practical and the spiritual go together. It's practical applications. Now when the most high come back. And we get in new Jerusalem. It's going to be all spiritual. It ain't going to be no practical things going on. We, we don't need practical things. When we get in glorified bodies. And we're in new Jerusalem. And the, and the government. all right, Is totally ran by the most high. But as uh, long as we in this physical carnal body. And there are people in rulership and making decisions. There is a practical element to the situation we in. So therefore, pay your doggone bills and stop asking the most high to come save you 
when you make a bad decision practically because you didn't pay your bills. He ain't coming. I'm telling y'all right now, he's not coming. So keep making bad decisions all you want. Keep thinking you need a break. Keep thinking you want to be, right, we need to go on a vacation. You ain't even got no money for no vacation, but you're going you're gonna to blow the little money you got. And then you're going to come back feeling sad, praying to the most high, sending up all kind of burnt offerings and all kind of doggone peace offerings and all that, all you want to. Or drink offerings and, and all how many feast days you keep. Your behind going to be broke. And the most I going to sit up there and say, learn from your situation. You made a practical decision. You're going to definitely turn around and go to some event. Knowing doggone where you needed the money. You're going to ask me to bail you out? No, I ain't doing it. I'm not coming. You're going to dig yourself out of your bad decisions. That's what the most I trying to get to his people. But people want to be so deep. They want to understand the spiritual thing. And you're broke. And you're going broke. Then you get mad. At Creflo and all these other people, all right, who prospering. So, yeah, man, they stealing money and all this kind of stuff. Half y'all folks don't even know what these people stealing. Y'all just looking on the outside. Y'all just looking on the outside. You're just looking on the outside. Get your house together first. Maybe you can live like, because I, <laughs> Lord have mercy. When I look at the scriptures, I, it's a whole lot of folk in Israel that was balling. Where you at? Now, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out. There was a whole lot of folk that were balling. And wasn't nobody talking about King David stealing. That's what I'm trying to We have to change our way of thinking. We make bad decisions and we want to get mad at everyone else because maybe they make a practical decision. Let me tell you something. There are people, listen, faith works in the earth for whoever. It's one of those principles and things that is put in the earth that work for whoever. The atheists have more faith than, than, than y'all. Let me explain. Let me show you how. I'm just going to be in and I'm getting off. Let me show you how the atheists got more faith than y'all. Faith is a practical thing that works in the earth for whoever possesses it. You can take an atheist he will sell his house. He will sell his car. He will sell everything he got to get some money to invest in his business. He got faith. Now, we ain't talking about faith in the most high, but we're talking about he got faith in his business. There's a difference. It's a difference in having faith in the, faith in the most high and having faith in the earth that works for you practically. Because it's one of those things that's been placed in the earth that whoever possess it and whoever grab it, it's going to work for them. This is why the atheists and the non-believers and all these other folks, they believe they will sell everything and go live in a shoebox until they make it. And guess what? You're like, how in the world is this joke of prospering? He prospering and they think, you know, all this old stuff over here. He, next thing, he owned, he, oh, he got a building downtown. He had a building downtown. A skyscraper. But yet, he was willing to sleep in. Y'all said, y'all said, what you want to say? Steve Harvey slept in his car. Y'all want to hit on Steve Harvey right now. Y'all hit, oh, Steve Harvey, he didn't. The man's believed in his dream. He slept in cars, had no place to stay. Because he had faith. Y'all sitting back. Blowing your money. You really don't have faith. You're blowing your money. Okay, because if you did have faith. You would be a good steward over practical things. And understand that you get the most high something to work with. To partner with him. For your blessing. Everybody else got it. Everybody else grabbed the concept. But we want to sit back and point fingers at them and then we want to throw Hasatan on them. That's the thing. Anybody that we have not, that haven't verbally come out of their mouth and say that they believe that they Israel, you want to throw Hasatan on them because they prospering. You don't know what people are doing behind the scenes. Maybe they just ain't came out yet. Maybe behind the scenes, 
They're, they're getting in communion with the Father, and maybe that's the reason why they're being prosperous. But no, y'all want to throw Hasatan on everybody that seemed to be prospering. And then guess what? Soon as somebody in Israel start prospering, you're going to throw Hasatan on them too. Oh, he over there. He probably over there stealing money from the people. Oh, look at how, how you how you a brew. You out of you a brew and you driving a car like that. All kinds of need to throw Hasatan on him. Oh, he over there still. Somebody go over there and investigate. Let's go. Go somebody go over there to one of the churches. Somebody go over there and see what's going on. See what they do. How he doing this? How he doing? Maybe if you understand that that's that that maybe that individual understand how money works and you don't, then maybe you would open up your mind and your spirit and say, man, listen. How, whatever you doing, however you doing it, man, listen, I need help in this area. But no, when you prideful, you don't want to accept that. Pride calls you not to even listen to practical things people are giving you to help you. That's another issue. I'm about to jump off here, man. Listen, don't wait for 2019 to come up with all this stuff about. No, you need to start today. Start today for your tomorrow. And your tomorrow will have you in overflow in your future. But you need to understand practical things. That's why I told our congregation, listen, come, we, we, about, we, all this other stuff, all this other stuff, you don't need to be, you don't need to go deeper. You need to go practical. Then we can get into these spiritual things. But if you don't understand practical stuff and how things work in the earth, you have no clue how things work in the spiritual. I'm, I just, I'm not playing. I don't tell, I'm not playing with our congregation. I'm not playing. Everybody in our congregation going to get it. You don't get it. It's on you. It's on you. If you don't get it. I got some people coming in 2019 to talk about some things practical. Practical things to help you get the way you need to go. Other than that, hey, listen, man. Some folks, if if, if we ain't deep enough, they ain't gonna stay. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Because I understand that in the day and age in which we live, Israel need to learn practical stuff. And they, they want to be so deep, and yet they're struggling because they don't understand practical things. So until then, until we graduate to the next level. Because right now we still on milk. Folks still on milk, man. Folks still on milk. Okay? They on milk. You'll get to some meat once you understand practical things. Same thing he had to deal with the disciples. He had to teach them practical things. Then he taught them spiritual deep things. And they grew in progress. It's a process. So I love all y'all for the love of Christ. We're about to get off of here, man. All right, I'm about to get off of here. Practice delayed gratification. Just because you got it don't mean you got to spend it, okay? Practice delayed gratification. Make sure that you always be able to understand the seasons that you're in. That way, that way, you can make sure that you remain in overflow, all right? If it had not been for Joseph, Egypt would not be in the situation that it was. It wouldn't have been a great nation. But it, because of practical things, he understood the practical off top. So Egypt needed the spiritual things. But the practical things, okay, the spiritual was the interpretation. The practical was the harvest. Hey, listen, go gather these, store it up for seven years. That's practical understanding. The interpretation was spiritual. The interpretation of the dream was a spiritual thing. But they still had to follow the instructions of what he saw spiritually to be able to help them survive practically. To survive practically. But the person who was already understood the practical things just needed to talk to the father to get revelation spiritually to be able to help the people live and survive practically. And they stayed in overflow until the next king came up who didn't know the most high. That's what happened in Egypt. So I love all y'all with the love of Christ, man. Shalom to you all.